ARC testing of protective clothing. RWE equips all its staff with protective clothing impregnated with long-term flame retardant. But can this clothing really withstand a 10,000 amp arc for a period of a second at a temperature of 9,000 degrees Celsius? That's what experts from RWE and the clothing manufacturers wanted to find out. RWE Eurotest has all the equipment necessary for such tests. To measure the temperatures directly impacting on the body, highly sensitive thermo elements were attached to a test dummy. The arc fault is triggered via a junction box specially set up for the purpose. Four cameras capture everything that happens from different positions. In a number of test series, various items of protective equipment are tried out on the dummy. All clothing items have previously been subjected to 40 industrial washes. Now we'll see whether the helmet, face guard and gloves can withstand these enormous temperatures. The test procedures themselves are accompanied by stringent safety measures. First, let's see an arc in real time. Now the same from different angles. And now in slow motion, we can clearly see the enormous impact of the arc. All the temperatures on the head, body and hands are precisely determined and evaluated. They fall between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. The results are positive. Most items stand up to the arc. Operatives would not suffer injury. But with some of the tests, this wasn't the case. The summer clothing, which proved too thin, and the face guard, which was rough round the edges, caught fire and continued to burn. Operatives here would have been badly burned. A thermoplastic helmet with a thin face guard, which is not used at RWE, was also tested for comparison. The result was horrific.
all shortcomings in protective clothing used at RWE were immediately put right by the manufacturers. So whole body protection can now be described as assured. Always bear in mind, protective clothing and equipment guarantees your safety, but only if worn conscientiously at all times.